Okay, so unlike the Asclepius video, I'm not doing Billy because I'm super interested in, in him or I like his kid. I'm doing Billy because he's honestly easier to explain than Abigail's buff. Uh, cause Abigail's buff has a lot more like going on with it. And like, you have to be more aware with that. So I want to just get this one knocked out. Uh, Billy's kit was always generic, but good. If with an asterisk, uh, if you enabled him to do what he wanted to do, which was like crit really hard, uh, and use his MP when he could as like a three star, uh, there was always an issue of like how was he gonna get stars like yes he was an archer uh but he had no star weight he had no star bomb and he had a whole lot of crit damage that only lasted for one turn so the like using him uh for a new player just wasn't something fun to do like yes 50 battery for a three star awesome but if you don't know how to use a servant that's like as crit heavy as Billy, you're not gonna have a good time, especially because he's an archer and his quick cards are dog shit. He's not gonna be jetting that many stars. That's that for me is where a lot of the issues stem from. It's like his kit wanted him to do something, but the kit also didn't let him do it. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about base stats. I do think uh 6k for a three star is low though if i'm not mistaken uh but again he's heavy crit focus it wouldn't be the first time uh someone's base stats got gimped because of like potential they had like i said earlier uh hit counts on quick cards or dog shit hit counts on arts cards aren't bad uh, extra attack it's one lower than the average but he did come out with singularity five so not quite it's still year one but not it, it's at a time when they're starting to get their shit together with uh making decks like this is definitely not a standard archer deck and like with the hit counts for year one this is not consistent with other decks but they, they did manage to give a quick unit like dog shit quick part, so learn that much all right first skill one turn of a hundred and twenty percent this is so fucking high like there is no five star servant that even has crit damage this high on one skill for a single turn uh the only one that kind of comes close is like super orion but like we're not comparing super orion to the star like off the top of my head that's the only uh unit i'm thinking of where like their crit damage is like as astronomical as this and this isn't even his only skill that has crit damage so like 120 was just for one turn but he also had three turn uh turns with the crit damage somewhere else so and also, another 10% here in the passive. I know we're skipping. Actually, yeah, let's just do passives because there are only two of them. 10% crit damage and then 7% quick up. Good for a quick unit. Like, he doesn't need much more than that. But yeah, 130 base crit damage in this kit. You unlock the append. You unlock the new append because he's a three star. You're going to have the coins eventually. So, at base in his kit with just his passive the append and let's just even say the append unlocked not even maxed out and this skill you have 150 crit damage in his own hit we talk about like uh ruler scotty giving 100 percent buster crit merlin uh lady avalon giving 100 percent crit damage like you notice the difference when you do crit damage and you're like ramped up that much Second skill, 50 battery. Again, three star having a 50 battery. Crazy. Uh, I think, I don't even think Tristan was in the game before this. So like Tristan literally had uh, a 50 battery, but he also had to demerit on it. So people actually, I think people would have actually talked about like, is uh, 
Billy was Billy at release actually better than Tristan? Uh, actually, hang on, let me. Oh, I was that. Uh, let me actually just check that real quick. Like base Tristan, like obviously the MP was better. I'm not debating that. Harp, uh, OG Harp of Healing. Yeah, one. Vicky battery with this MP seal removes all buffs. I mean, like, yeah, like the, the MP is where like Kristen would like take off, and just like having a better like deck, like they they're similar at bare bones. They're similar, but like Tristan would have been. I was about to say like loot farming, but we're talking about year one. That wasn't a thing. Year one was not loop farming. Um, but yeah, like 50 battery, quick MP, like similar MP gain too, I think. Yeah, like very, like similar kits. Just like Tristan, obviously a four star, he's gonna get more bells and whistles. But I mean, that is, that is someone, something people could have talked about, like just because like Billy probably that probably was why they gimped Billy as much as they did because they knew like in the next story chapter they were going to have an, a four star pretty much version of him with less crit focus and more uh like MP uses but who knows who knows what uh DW was thinking back in the day all right here is the original skill eye of the mind false once again this is the second time this skill got buffed during this anniversary so i i truly think like they're like this is the next skill on the chopping block like charismas are pretty much all gone um they went from never buffing this skill ever like eye of the mind falls you can see right here there are only three servants that have um that have a skill buff on. this skill and this skill was in the game from the very beginning. We have Kojiro here. Shiki was the first one to get the buff. And now we have two more servants getting this buff. So now that tactics and charisma are pretty much like dead in the water. I think there's like maybe one more tactics in the game and like one more charisma. Um, yeah, like I, I'm fine with it. Like this skill, cool. But if you can't if you can't crit, then it's just a dodge with a buff with a buff that doesn't do anything. Like on an art servant like Benny Emma, if she's not able to gen stars, then what the fuck is the point of her even having uh crit damage? So, buff skill. Evasion, not changing, it's still one turn. Remember the crit value here, 32%. Increases crit damage, it got buffed to 50%. <laughs> Billy right now actually has 200% crit damage in his kit, and that's not even the highest it goes. It's it's 210. He has 210 crit damage in his own fucking kit. There are five stars that don't come anywhere close to it. And yes, it is only one turn, but this is on a five turn and you can reduce cooldown. It's really, you, you're, this is probably not common to do it with quick, but you can do it. It's just, it's just you're, you're sacrificing damage for that. Uh, not only the crit damage, they also gave him a quick up. Again, he did not have any quick buffs himself. Helps his base damage before you throw in Scotty. Star weight, which he needed to be able to crit. And then 30 stars. This is what he fucking needed. Like, but because at the time, I have mine false. Like, it was the way it was. Especially at 32%. Uh, yeah, they, this is up. Honestly, I would say this is a five star skill now. This skill belongs on a five star. If Benny Emma got this, like, I don't think, yeah, no. 
uh, obviously trade the quick out for uh, arts, but hang on. I think hers was just a battery and the arts buff. Yeah, no, like <laughs> debatably, like, um, debatably, Billy got a better buff, even though his base value for the skill was lower. Like, <laughs> he had the lowest value of the skill, and he got a better buff than Betty Emma. Uh, I don't know. That's just funny to me. But I mean, for Benny Emma, she didn't need star weight like this. She doesn't have as much crit focus as Billy does. Like Benny Emma doesn't need the star bomb. She doesn't need this, uh, the star weight. Cause a, she, again, arts unit, not her focus. Isn't really critting. It's uh, MP spam, especially when she's racking up power mods. Uh, and that, yeah, no, that's probably why, because if you didn't know, Power mods are in the same part of the formula as crit damage. So if you get, if you have the choice between getting a crit buff or getting a power mod for the same exact um, value, you should probably just go for the power mod just because you don't have to worry about critting. Um, crit buffs just make when you crit do even more while power mods just make your base damage uh, better. Like you raise the floor instead of crit buffs, you raise the ceiling. Okay, we already talked about passives. He's a welfare, or not welfare, he's a three star. You're eventually gonna get all these unlocked. Uh, does anything change by him getting like the cooldown reduction? Uh, uptime on this is better. And you will definitely be able to double stack or not double stack it, no. I, yeah, no, there's a turn you'll actually be able to double stack it uh, if you do. Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, hundred. You're you'll be able to get a hundred percent uptime uh, if you reduce cooldown your cooldowns by another two, like Alco, uh, Atlas, something like that, and you'll be able to have like just six turns of you having of you having this up. Uh, don't think you'd be able to double pop this under normal circumstances. Uh, definitely wouldn't advise using bitch for that because he only has the one buster card. Like you are, you are fiending for that. If that's your strat. Um, he does have double quick double art. So he's not even going to be used with ruler Scotty in the first place. Uh, well he would, but not, regular Scotty would probably work better especially with how many uh yeah no especially with how much crit buffs he has like he kind of he could use ruler scotty but it's not necessary it's not necessary uh og scotty's defense down would up his damage like way more than like the extra attack and quick and cluster up all right mp has already been buffed reduces crit attack chance uh by 20 percent uh ignores evasion and three hit quick mp uh i'm not even gonna last few days i've been calking mp gain i'm not even gonna try to do that for this um i just don't see the point uh this is a three star this is a three hit quick mp he does not have mp gain and they give him a battery of 50 to start with my initial impressions would be that his refund sucks and then he needs face cards in which case, the, he needs to credit on his cards. That, that, that's the end. That, that's it. He needs to credit on his cards. If he's not critting, he's not going to refund. Uh, Matt's level, bones, feathers, chaos claws. At least these have a higher drop chance. Um, oh, God. The year one syndrome. Bones and uh, void dust. Unfortunate. On a pens, ew, why? Why would you do this? Why would you need bells? Oh my fucking God. On, it makes it sick. On CE, 25% crit damage for the entire party while he is on the field. 
I'm gonna say it again. This is a buff worthy of a five star. This is better than Betty Emma's buff. Straight up. Not only did his crit damage go up massively, like this is more than a 50% increase in how much crit damage he had on this skill. Uh, he also got a card buff that he didn't have, star weight and star bombs, which he needed with a kit like this. Um, if you do, don't have like Tristan, like you probably can get away with loot farming with him, but I think your refund is just going to be too much. Like there's going to be a too much of a difference that I highly doubt you could ever get away with black rail with him. Maybe. Yeah, like if you're not comfortable with his refund, put a K-scope on him and then just battery your way like all the way through uh, for a 1-1-1 one, one, one node. If you were trying to brute force it with uh, Billy. Uh, but even still, if you use Black Rail and you actually have a chance to just use face cards, I highly ad advise that over trying to like brute force, like almost buster farm with uh, Billy by just shoving as much battery down his throat as possible. But is what it is. Yeah, no, I actually have way more to talk about Billy than I thought. Um, yeah, no, this is a really good welfare now for people or free character for people to have. Like 50 batteries, super sought after. Great. These days, highly sought after. Here you go. All on one servant. All right. Next up is Abigail. See you then. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.